gospel lesson, Jesus tells the disciples that he's going to prepare a place for them. Some people think about this like rooms, and some people think about this like mansions. Some people just think of this like a place where we can be with God. Sometimes I like to think of this as a tiny house. Now, obviously, this isn't one that I can live in. This is my daughter's tiny house. But, you know, it's a place that I prepared for her to play. It's a place that I prepared by cleaning off the outside of it because it was all covered with mold and dirt. And I made it clean so that she could play here safely. It's a, a place that I prepared where I was hoping her imagination might run wild. Where, where she could play tea, where she could play like... Not only is she someone who lives here, but this is a place where she has adventures. Do you, do you have a place that, that maybe your parents or your family members or someone who loves you has made for you where you can feel safe and have adventures, where you can use your imagination? Would, would you tell your parents what kind of things you like to imagine when you play? I remember when we were kids, and I was about your age, me and my friends a lot of times would play house. And we'd always have somebody in the group who was mommy and somebody who was daddy and someone was the kids. And I a lot of times wanted to be the army guy. I wasn't so sure how that fit into the family, but it sounded fun. And the thing that was so neat about that is that when we play house, we're pretending in a way that helps us to imagine how we would treat the members of our family if we were a mom or a dad, or if we were, you know, some other part of that family. And what's really interesting about that is as much as we would tease each other and call each other names and, and fight with each other when we were playing other games, I don't really remember fighting a whole lot when we played family. There's, there's something about love that helps us to treat each other right when even we're pretending to be a family. And the reason I think about this tiny house when, when I thought about this, uh, this lesson for today where Jesus talks about making a place for us is that in the family of God, we have a place too. And it might, be a, it might not be a cute little pink house that God and Jesus are preparing for us. But one thing that I believe, because Jesus has promised us that God loves us and Jesus loves us, is that whatever place they are preparing for us is a place where we can feel safe. It's a place that, that God is making safe for us, maybe by cleaning up the outside or making sure there aren't sharp things inside. Or, or just making sure maybe there's someplace comfortable to sit. Or at the very least, helping us to feel loved and safe. And I think about this, that God is doing for us. The same thing I've done for my daughter. And I want you to think this week, what are some ways that people in your life make you feel safe? That they make you feel loved? And... How can you make someone in your life feel safe and feel loved? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you prepare lots of places for us to be. You make families for us. You give us places to live. You give us food to eat. You give us people who love us and care for us. Thank you for that. Help us to make the people around us feel safe as they make us feel safe. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you all.